Hello, I'm Marcus, and this is a short tutorial on how to set up your Expo project for your React Native application. I'll be using VS Code for this tutorial, and I hope you already had the Expo CLI installed. And these are some um, useful extensions for VS Code. First, we have React Native um, snippets. These are shortcuts for you to reduce writing your boilerplate code. Then we have ESLint. So just look for the most installed one. And ESLint is for you to make your code more consistent and reduce the bugs. So lastly, we have uh, Prettier. It's a code formatter for you to make your code more standardized and readable. Right, so now we'll head back to our terminal and um, I'll be using desktop. So for this, um, you can do expo init and this is our app name. And then we'll do no install so that we can choose which node package manager we want to use. So hit blank. After all, we should be done. So now we can we can go to our orbital um, folder. Then we hit npm uh no. So this will open up using VS Code. Alright. So for now you can't start it yet because um you haven't installed your node dependencies. So hit npm i. This will install all the dependencies required to start your app. While doing that, we can copy this code from app.js. We'll restructure it a bit. We'll create a source folder. And then we'll create an index.jsx. Paste all your code here. At the top, import React from React. This will help you um, reduce the ESLint problems later on. Yep, so now we can uh, refactor this into our ES6 syntax. Uh, constant app equals to this. And then we export default app. Alright, so in the app.js, remove everything. Import app from P. Then we'll export default app. Alright, so in this um, source folder, this will be where you host all your code. And then the app.js is the driver file. So you'll just run this index.js. So everything else will be inside your source folder. All right, now it has been uh, done installing. We can try to open it up using our web for fast verification. So we can hit npm run web. So this will run this command here in your package.json. Okay. Let it load for a while. Yep, so this will be the application that is supposed to be shown. Yep, so we have verified that it's working now. And you can close it using Control C. All right, the next step would be to um, integrate your Expo project with uh, Prettier and Yarn. So we can go ahead and copy the command in the, in the um, readme, and then we'll add yes link here as well. So you we can go ahead and install all this as developer dependency. So it will be listed here. Yep, so now it's done. Uh, you can hit npm init at eslin config. So this will set up the eslin configuration for our for our application. So for our for this, we'll be using check syntax, find problems, and enforce code style. Hit enter. And what the project will use um, JavaScript modules. Hit enter. React. And will our project use TypeScript? We'll hit no for this. So for this, we'll select node as well using spacebar and then we'll hit enter. And if you want to use a popular style guide, uh, one of the popular style guide would be Airbnb. Uh, but for this tutorial, we'll be using our own custom style guide. We'll hit enter on this, ask, answer questions about your style. For code uh, config file, we'll be using JavaScript. Type uh, uh, indentation, we'll be using spaces, single quotation. And for this, um, you can choose either because we will be removing this. I see it caused some error for Windows. Yeah, for, for, 
for me, I'll choose Windows right now. Do you require semicolon? Yes. And do you like to install them now? Hit, uh, hit yes. And we'll be using NPN for our package manager. And for this, there'll be some error for me. Uh, hopefully there is no error for you. But um, if there is error, what you can do is um, copy this. And then you run npm i e yes lin plugin react simply hit this uh, npm i uh, dash d here and it should be done uh yeah so there there is some problem with my pc environment right here but do not worry uh hopefully it won't happen to yours if it does you can just do this for a remedy okay now you see a lot of errors here okay so we'll be hitting this step two uh this will be the preferred indentation style and then line break style will be deleting this this uh, piece of segment and then you see um that's all squiggy and this is because of the es lin that found the problem so for quick fix we can try to hit ctrl s and hopefully it will save and uh, format your file if not you can go to file uh preferences settings and you can look at the format on say yeah make sure this is checked and uh hopefully you want to check this as well format or case then you can look for a uh, formatter yeah so default formatter change it to prettier so now once you're at this uh all the files that has read squiggly you try to hit Control S, which is safe, and it should help you format your file. All right, so now that we have um, set up the Prettier, you should go ahead and uh, set up your Prettier and ESD integration. So first you need to install the dependencies here. Right, so after that, we'll be creating a dot Prettier RC, uh, no, Prettier ignore file. And then we'll copy in our the snippet from the readme. So this will ignore the build and coverage uh, folders in your application. Uh. Yep, so the next will be using Prettier RC.js. So this will be the configuration of the Prettier. And for a start, we'll be using this first. This will be single quote and trailing comma. And we can also add tag with single split. All right. So lastly, um, you can also uh, change the stuff here. If not, you can copy it from my gist. Right. So uh, right here, there's nothing to, to be done already. And then we can go ahead and add the scripts in your package.json. So here um you can add, add the lin, lin fix format and write. So lin fix will be how you want to um fix all the lin error, yes lin error. And then Peter will just help you format your code. Check will look for any um possible formatting error, then write will. It basically fixed. Same for this. Um, this will just check and then this will fix. All right. So now we can try to run um npm uh bin fix. Yep. So this this will be the code that you'll run and yeah, there is nothing much for them to fix. Then for Prettier, you can try to make it um, wrongly formatted and you try and can run right. Yep, so it will help you format your code using this uh, right script. All right, so lastly, um, we can use Husky for um, pre commit hooks. So, um, before you try to commit your code to GitHub, you can run a series of tests or scripts to help you format your code and run the test so that it makes sure that the code that you commit does not have the 
following errors. Right, so first you want to install Husky. So this will be what uh, we use to uh, run our free comic hooks. Okay, so in your package.json, you can add uh, the following lines. Yeah, so this will be the lines that you need to add in. Uh, for this, I use the source folder. And if you do not want to use the source folder, you can try to um, look at the things that you need to change so that uh, it will work. Yeah, make sure that you change to the correct path that you want. Okay, so um, now we can initialize our uh, Husky, right? So for NPM, we can do Husky init. And then we'll do uh, install the dependencies required. So npm i or install is okay. Uh, okay, so this is a partial error. Okay, uh, let us do it one by one. npm Husky. Yes. All right, then npm install. Yeah, so this will install the Husky git books. And then um, for this, we will be initializing our uh, ASCII pre-commit hook script. So by default, you'll run npm test. Then, okay. So what we want to do is to change this to running on bin fix and then npm test. So npm, uh, to change it, you need to run this uh, ASCII set ASCII uh, dot husky uh, free commit and then add in the command that you want to run yeah so this will change it to npm bin fix because um you want to run this before test for example then after that you can also use husky add Then you can um, add this npm test as well. So npm test will basically run some unit test or any other test for your project. All right. So now you see that um, before committing, you will run this npm bin fix and npm test. So if npm test fails, then your commit wouldn't work, and you have to fix the errors before you can commit. All right. So um. Let's see. Uh, so for npm test, you need to add your own test script. So um, the most common one that I see is uh, using jest. But for now, uh, I will not show you how to set up your commit uh, test file. I'll just be using a very mock test script, which is to uh, print out hello world. Okay. So um, now. So for now we are done. Um, we can try to save everything. We can try to git add. Okay, then we can try to use git commit and then test out free commit. Yep, so you can see that it tries to run this bin fix command, but it didn't work because um the admin npm run bin fix. So for this, um okay. You can try to reset it. So we can, uh, yeah, so you can try to add a run in front because um, if you do not add a run, it may, it may or may not work because uh, it just kind of tells MPM to do lean fix. So if you don't have lean fix, uh, package in your no lean fix command in your global node module that you make though. So that was some error that I made. Yep. So now you can see that it changes to run fix, and then next you'll add the npm run test. All right. So now we can try to add again, and then. Uh, yeah. 
let's try to run this. Okay, so you see that it has run the ESLIN fix, and then it has also run the NPM test, and hello world is printed, right? And that's how you do the pre comment code. So now you can do a git push to your GitHub. Right, so yeah, because I did not add any um, remote, so it has this error. So if you want, you have a GitHub repository already. You can either do a git remote add. If not, you can just copy all the files into your repository uh, folder and then you git add and git push, or git commit and git push, all right? So yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoy it and uh, happy building for Orbital Graph. Thank you.